guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. I'm Chris Bowden, you're not. Today we're going to do a bit of a project. I don't know how far I'm going to get with this, but when we bought this house it had about 10,000 things wrong with it, and very high on the list is my kindling tube of death and hell in the basement. So we're going to swap out the dryer vent, and it's, it's going to be a time, because I have to drill a hole that's like five inches in diameter in the side of the house. So, and, and the house is made of brick. So this is gonna be a bit of a thing. But let me show you why we're doing this. And maybe along the way you'll learn something. If your dryer vent is anything like mine, move. So let's go take a look. All right, so here's the problem. It's friction. You've gotta, you've gotta picture air as a million tiny little balls bouncing around the inside of a tube. So this, is how they did our dryer vent. I don't, I don't know who did this in this particular fashion, but you should be shot, slapped, and sterilized. So it comes out of the dryer and makes a 90 degree turn down, and then makes a 90 degree turn down here, and then we go down the pipe, like, I don't know, 10 feet, and then we make another turn up and another turn out, and then we end up outside. And this is ridiculous this is bad and difficult to fix with all this is this is stupid because what happens when all the all when all the air comes out of your dryer it doesn't just it isn't just air it's got stuff in it it has a huge amount of moisture in it and floofity bits and all those little tiny floofity bits see people think that it just all catches in the lint filter and it doesn't that gets a lot of it but certainly not all so all those little floofity bit particles are bouncing around inside the pipe. And when they hit a 90, they boom. So they hit on the side here and they leave a lot of energy behind. And they want to hang out here. So this is why, A, it's very important to clean your dryer ducts. Do this. This wants to burn your house down. Okay? And a lot of houses burn down because of this. You have to clean your dryer ducts. But... This, every time you have a bend, you're getting rid of energy. You're, you're creating more friction losses, and that's bad. So you want your dryer duct to be as short and as straight as possible. And that crinkly bullshit, don't use that! It's so bad, because all those little crinkles create places for things to collect and get trapped. Little eddy currents. It's, it's just bad. Use straight pipe. There is, there is, it is okay to use the bendy crinkly stuff for very short distances, like from your dryer to the wall. But once you're, once you're past that, you should not have flexible crinkly crap in your walls, in your basement. No, that's bad, bad, bad. Don't do that. That's fire starting stuff. It's even worse than the crinkly drain pipe stuff. It's that bad. So we're going to get rid of all of this, and I'm going to show you how I would have done it. I don't know if it's any better. I'm no rocket surgeon, and I'm certainly not like an HVAC guy, but let's see if I can do this better. And I'll bet if I can do it, you can do it. So let's have some fun. Oh, I've disconnected the dryer hose accidentally. That's fucking terrible. Cool. Now, we just had this out of here, like what, a month ago? Mm-hmm. To, to do the, yeah. How does this that is, even happen? This is, this is what collects under a dryer here in one month. To do this, you're going to need a four and a quarter inch hole saw. I'm doing standard four inch dryer ducting, so a four and a quarter inch hole saw will give me an eighth inch of space on either side. It will be cool. So we're going to put this right here, and I have already checked in the basement to make sure that uh, I'm not going to find any electrical surprises inside the wall. Exciting for this particular tone. I'm going to brace it with a foot. This tool is not enjoying life, and neither am I. I'm not liking this. I think I need to upgrade. I'm going whole hog. I'll be right back. I need to grab something. 
I have named this particular tool Trigger Like a Horse because not only is it one hell of a bucking bronco, but it's got a pommel on it like a horse. So we're going to see if this will work. Now, this particular tool is torquey as fuck and will quite happily break your arm, <sighs> especially if you're an anorexic little twig of a guy like I am. However, this also gives me a much longer lever and this thing... I've got this huge circle out here, and it's and it, this is more likely to hurt me. So, same MT, M18 battery, and this, while being much torquier, the trade-off is it goes a lot slower. I don't want to spin this very fast anyway, but it gives me a much longer lever and a higher degree of control. Let's see if we can make this work. instantly way more better. The downside is I've got this wicked sharp bit of metal back here trying to slice my wrist, so... And it makes it quick and easy. I love this tool. Well, shit! Come take a look at this. The good news is we're in the wall. The bad news is we're edging to a stud cavity. There's a stud right here. Now, I can I could absolutely bore all the way through that, but that would suck really bad. So now we have to move the hole over a hair because I've got a stud right there. So we're gonna we're gonna embiggen the hole to the side just a hair. <laughs> is it classy? No. Would would Bob Via do this? Probably. This is uh, is going to be a little tricky to pull off, and I might end up having to do this with a jigsaw. I'm gonna try it with a hole saw and see if I can. I need a very high degree of control in this plane. I'm gonna shoot the fuck out of the wall doing this. Yeah, I did that. Fuck you. Are you fucking kidding me? I swear to God, look in the hole. <laughs> Just fuck my life. Okay, let's... <laughs> what asshole puts... Just fuck my life. So this is a cripple. This stud can't go higher than here, so it's cripple stud. So this is the stud we're going to drill into. Oh, this sucks. Unguided. more length. This is, this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. This is made of bad. It's gonna be fine. What's the worst that could happen having a giant M18 torquey as fuck whole hog on the end of like, what, a foot and a half stick with a fucking four and a quarter inch pulse on the end? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Can we get this even in the goddamn hole? This is, what, this is good. This is fine. This is a great idea. I'm gonna, fucking die today. If I can fit this through, I can fit the pipe through. It was violent. The thing worked its way loose. It's not the worst that it could be. This worked. All right, so next in the ridiculously over-engineered category, we're going up to a Cresirius rotary hammer. This is also four and a quarter inch full saw because the outside of the house here is brick. So I'm gonna just completely remove my depth stop and we're gonna swing this around to the off side because I'm working up against a wall. Eye and ear protection. This is going to take a minute. Yeah. Get comfortable. Got it. Oh my god. Okay, we're close. Yeah? We're close. I feel way better all of a sudden. Really close. I can see the tip of the bit. We're in three-eighths of an inch. You gotta be close. We're about a half inch in. We're over a half inch.
We made it! It's out of alignment by a hair. All right, so the next step is you get one of these, Home Depot sells them, you gotta put together. This is leftover from um, when we did the water heater just the other day, I, I had an extra one. So let's see if this will fit. on prom night. That's lovely. All right, now I gotta go to Home Depot and get an outside piece and an inside adapter. But we're done with that fucking hole. <laughs> Definitely want work gloves for tin knocking because that shit's made of razor blades. Beautiful! And ostensibly, that should. Where the exact. It's not a slip in or out one way or the other. That's just. That's just how that do. Here's the inside. Okay, fuck that. So, I want to go inside this. And I want that to go on it. We're just gonna make this fit. Smaller is easier for fitment. I are not a tin knocker and everybody who watches this video who is, is gonna laugh like hell. They're all gonna laugh at me. That is definitely not what that was designed for, but she'll fucking do. Is supposed to fit through a four and a half inch hole, and you're making it bigger by adding screws. It'll be fine. It's not that precise of a hole. Okay. This ain't the prettiest work I've ever done. But if this ain't the most over engineered, fuck you, it's done dryer vent in the history of America. Hey, we've got like half a dozen screws in the fucking thing. It's gonna be okay. You want to walk it around like that so you don't instantly tear the shit out of your cheap mylar aluminum plastic tube. You want to get that up and in there and get a few extra rings on. Just, just, keep, just keep stuffing it a little bit. That's a nice tight seal. That's the same thing on the other end. And that's all the flex I've got in there, which is, it's a lot. I mean, I could put the fucking thing up there if I wanted, but it'll be fine. And this will just get cleaned out twice a year. You clean your dryer ducts when you uh, set your clocks for to batteries. When you clean your, same thing with your uh, smoke detector batteries. So yeah, that's our setup right there. And now this will go on the back of the new dryer. Everything there is done. I'm gonna grate stuff the shit out of that hole and uh, then we'll assemble the dryer but that's that's the basics of how to install dryer duct that's going to start oozing out of the wall and after it's done doing that I'll cut it off with a knife guys so time is 1815 and it's done it's on it's still dusty but it'll do and there's the inside 
the Temple of Dry Clothes. So that's pretty badass. And everything's all tucked in the back and good and happy. And yeah, it's finished. Here, take a look. Uh, Ta-da! It's all hooked up and done. It's everything you think it is, and I am well pleased. So that was the adventure of the day, installing the ridiculously giant new dryer. Have fun, guys!